Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the part three to the series that I've been running for a while now. I am hopefully gonna be finishing off this barn that I've been working on for ages. I've got all of the stuff that I need in here right now. I just need to grab a horse. Or actually three because I couldn't decide. Yep, so helping me today are Dinky, Dolly and Dude. The three Ds. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> all right, so they're all tucked in safely there. Let's go. Alrighty, here we are. It's very exciting. <laughs> so the first thing I did was got myself all set up. So I turned on the hot glue and moved the horses out the way because you really can't hot glue them. That would be a disaster. And I also just put everything neatly, you know, arranged it nicely. But it really didn't stay like that for long. So there was probably no point in doing it, but it was quite fun at the time. So <laughs> it's fine. Right. Now I'm actually starting with the crafts. The first thing that I'm going to do is make the doors. And for this, I'm going to need lots of lolly sticks so I've just opened up a new pack which was very satisfying to do and then once I'd worked out how many lolly sticks I was actually going to need I joined them all together by gluing along one lolly stick and just squishing it on top of the rest this is also pretty much how I made the stall walls in my last video and that's because it's just a really easy and neat way of joining these sticks together so yes, I put two on the top and bottom to make it really, really strong. And then I just trimmed off the sticky out bits because that's not really helpful when we're trying to make a door here. <laughs> so yes, that is the finished door panel. Now it is time to attach the hinge because we need this door to be able to move. The hinges that I used here had already been used, so were kind of bent, which is why I used the pliers to straighten them out. Then I just hot glued it to the side of the door. And then I glued the hinge to the inside of the barn. The only thing you've got to be careful about here is making sure the glue doesn't get inside the hinge which will prevent it from moving which is why I was wiggling it about there while it was drying. Then I went ahead and did exactly the same method for the second stable door and bam just like that two stable doors complete. Well actually almost complete I then went ahead and added these little tops of lolly sticks to the outside of the barn and this prevented the doors from being able to swing outwards because we don't want any cheeky ponies just pushing their way outside. <laughs> <laughs> the next door I had to do was this small little side door. I think this one definitely took the longest to do because it was such a tight gap I had to really trim down the lolly sticks and make sure they were all even before I could even start to assemble it. But once I'd done that I glued it together just like the other two. The only slight difference was I used one lolly stick at the top and two at the bottom to hold it together. I just thought that because it's a door that's just going to be used by people it wouldn't have to be so heavily reinforced and it would look a bit neater and more delicate I guess guess if there were less lolly sticks holding it together. So yeah, once I'd finished that door, I opened up my new packet of hinges, which I was very excited about. I kept these really nice hinges for the two doors that you'd see the most. I got them from a local DIY shop. I don't think they're that hard to find. They're just small brass hinges if you're looking for some. Anyway, here in the video, I had just gotten the little door on. I'm not kidding. It took at least half an hour to try and get on. It was such a disaster. I kept putting it on backwards and I couldn't work out what I'd done. So I just cut that bit of the video out because no one needs to see that. Anyway, I've just finished attaching the huge front door on, so now all the doors are complete. I then started on the balcony, which I was really looking forward to because I didn't have a clear idea on what it was going to look like and how it was going to work. So yeah, I was really excited to see how it was going to turn out. Right here I'm using blue tack to hold up lolly sticks because I wanted to make a wall out of them to make the balcony more obvious. And this is what it looked like. I thought it worked really, really well, so I took the blue tack off and started gluing them. done inside the wall I glued three supporting beams to make sure that they were all joined together and didn't wobble which made a huge difference then on this flat surface I glued about half a lolly sticks worth of glue onto it and sandwiched my bit of plywood that's going to be the balcony floor straight onto it but I am definitely not going to be leaving it just like this. So I grabbed Sarah, one of my little people, to help me out because I'm going to be making a railing around it. And I wanted to make sure I was getting it at the right height. I didn't want it to be too big because I didn't want to make like a cage. And I didn't want it to be too low either because that would look ridiculous. 
Here's a very funny moment when I dropped the little pole I just cut and couldn't seem to be able to hold on to it, which was really, really funny. And then like five seconds later, Sarah went flying. It was all happening. It was hilarious. And I was literally just sat there dying laughing behind the camera. Anyway, quite some time later when I'd cut all the bits of fencing, I was laying them out and uh, Sarah had another accident. <laughs> I think I actually need to see this in slow motion. Hang on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Really sorry about that interruption. <laughs> anyway, moving swiftly on, I managed to finish arranging all of the posts without any other disasters happening. So I started gluing in all of the corner posts on the right hand side first, and then I did exactly the same on the left hand side. Sarah even came out to see what was happening. Quite brave if you ask me. <laughs> then I glued in the horizontal posts on the front side first. Now all of these really thin poles that I use for the barrier here are coffee stirrers that you can pick up in a coffee shop or something like that. I chose to use these over regular lolly sticks because they're a lot more fine so make, well, the details seem much more detailed and intricate. So yeah, nice bit of background information there. Now here I'm working on one of the sides to the fencing because we definitely can't have any gaps. And to finish it off I just add another little post to the front which makes it really secure. Then I cut a normal size lolly stick to fit underneath the balcony as a support. Then off camera I glued an entire lolly stick along the edge of the balcony floor to give it that finished look. And finally to the support beam I added some off cuts from the coffee stirrer to give it some detail which really really helped. Now for the last side, I wanted to make it a bit different than the other two. I wanted to add a big ladder underneath it to be able to get up onto the balcony that way. Which is why I added that long pole that's hanging down because I thought that's what I'd make the ladder from. Then behind everything I went ahead and made the same support as before to even out the two sides. And then I decided to ditch the long lolly stick that was going to be the ladder because I'd come up with a much better idea, which I'm really pleased I did. Then I attached the lolly stick that makes everything nice and finished and really holds everything together. Which was promptly followed by the horizontal poles I still needed for the fencing. And then I finally made a start on the ladder. In the end I decided to make it separate to the rest of the barn and attach it on once I'd finished, which was much easier. I used the thin coffee stirrers to make the entire thing because I didn't want it to look too clumpy, if that's even a word. And then really simply I just hot glued both ends of the ladder so then I could just attach it to the barn really easily. And yeah, I have finished everything I'm going to be adding to the barn today. I just had a bit of a quick tidy up, but that is it. Alright everyone, this is as much as I'm doing today. I really hope you enjoyed watching and found it useful. I absolutely love all of the things that I've added today. It's really, really exciting to see the barn coming together. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!